Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You are here with Marketing Queen, and I'm going to share with you how to create a lead capture page. We are going to be replicating this capture page right here. Um, we're going to be using the Get Response uh, platform to do this, and it's going to be very, very simple. Um, one of the tools that I do use, um, like right here, these colors match. I use what's called the HTML color code. Um, all colors have a specific number. So this site right here, if I have a particular image and I want to match a color and I want to get the particular code, this is where I go. It's HTML-color-code.info forward slash colors dash from dash image forward slash. I just wanted to make sure you all saw that so you know how I oftentimes will match color code. Okay, now let's go on inside of Get Response. I've already opened up my account. I'm going to go to landing pages. If, in fact, I was starting from the beginning, I would go to create. My landing page is already created, but I'm not going to go to that until I'm doing the settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to create, just like I was doing it from scratch. and when it all kind of populates, what's going to happen is on your left-hand side, you will see here that it has many different options for you. It already has templates that you can use, plug and play, change the colors, do whatever you want, or you can start from scratch. I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to pick plain template 10 just because it has less things. I'm, I want a whole blank template when I get started. So these are the from scratch templates. I'm going to pick plain template 10, and I'm going to get rid of everything that is on the template. Give it a second to load up. And what you basically do is I am clicking. I am clicking on the left side of my mouse so that the little control panel will come up. This right here would duplicate it. This thing on the very far right is trash. I am deleting that. I'm going to click on that one. I'm deleting that. I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to move it over. I'm deleting everything. I don't want any of this stuff right here. Okay? I now have a blank canvas, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to replicate this very capture page right here. So I'm just going to go ahead right now and do a little quick control C. I'm going to copy what I'm going to do. But this right here, all of the things that you need are right on the side. I'm going to use the text button right here, which I'm going to drag and drop it. I could either double click it or I can drag it over. And then I'm going to also use the web form. So let's take this text over here and see what happens. It lets you know your font right here. You can change your font. It lets you know the size of the text that you're going to use. Um, you're able to put some background color in if you wanted to put some background color. Um, just different things. I'm going to cancel that right now. Let me go back here to my text. I'm just going to put in what I already had. Just like any other thing, you can pull down your stuff. Now, um, on this one, I'm going to do it a little different because I'm going to show you all how I can change the colors. I want to use orange on this one. So I'm going to go over here to simple. This lets me know the color. It has its own color code for every color. Um, this EE0314 is this shade of red. I usually, when I'm doing it, use CC and then four zeros makes it that shade of red, okay? But for this particular example, I'm going to let this be orange. And the color code for that is FFBD4A is the color orange that I'm looking for. And I'm going to hit OK. And so now it's orange that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change everything in here orange because we're just going to, once since I've done the orange color, 
it now saves it. And I'm going to do it again for only. And now I have that. So I have that make $100 with this simple system. Now I'm going to balance it out the same way. Let's see. It's with this simple. So I'm going to open it up a little bit. And it says system and you will only. Right here. I just need to open it a little bit longer. And then I'm going to shorten that up. Right there. So now I have make one hundred dollars a day with this simple system. Now what I need is that portion of the capture page where you're able to put the email address in and name. And that's right here. This right here is called the web form. You have the button right there. You have the web form right there. I'm dragging the web form over. Everything is good in there, but I want my color box to match. So you see how it says button color. I want my button color to match. So because I'm in a different box now, that same orange color is not there, but I have the number FFBG or A. So now that makes that the orange color as well. I don't want the word sign up. So I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to put the words get instant access now. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up a little bit on both sides. I'm just clicking on it, you know, left clicking, and I'm going to open it up just a little bit so it's there. So now I have my, with the orange color, Make one hundred dollars a day with this simple system, and you only need and you only need thirty minutes a day of your time. Get instant access now. So then they would enter their name. Now what you would do next? I've got this all set up. I now would go to next step, and what that will do is it will take me over to my landing page settings. I'm going to put all of the things in here, but after I do this, because I'm not going to save and publish this because I don't want to save it, I'm going to go to my original page, okay? So let's say I, the page title of it was Simple Income System, and then in the description I wrote Simple income system generate $100 per day on autopilot. And then, as you see, once I put the page title in, the page title comes down into the domain name. I can change that, the subdomain name, if I wanted to. Um, great8, gr8.com is their domain name. They do their own hosting. So, you don't have to get another hoster like uh, HostGator or anything like that. It will be hosted on this site. They have a couple of domain extensions. They have Great 8, Subscribe Me Now, or Get Response Pages. You can use any of those that you desire. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Then I would have a campaign. You have to connect it to the proper campaign that you're running, which is the campaign is where – the emails that you're going to load up would be for that particular campaign. So for this one, it would be based on that I'm doing the Web Wealth System. It would be the Web Wealth System Marketing Queen. I don't really need it to opt in. Um, I don't want them to opt in, I, um, which is where they would have to go to the email and do a confirmation email, not looking to do that at this very moment for this particular thing. It's nothing wrong with doing that, though. When you do a double opt-in, 
you usually have a more pristine group of individuals who are really looking for what it was that you were looking. If it's going to be a higher ticket item that you're kind of, you know, paying for stuff and, and, and doing it, I might do a double opt-in because I only want folks, you know, on my list at that point if I'm, you know, putting out some premium income to do it that way. But for this, no. Um, add into the cycle. That means that the person would get added into your autoresponder on day zero of the messages. So you have the option to say yes or, you know, no messages where you just don't do it at all. So it would be no messages. But, okay, for that, yeah. And right here, it's supposed to have its custom URL and things like that, but it's not there again. But it's not a big deal. I'm going to save this and then I'll just delete it. So I'm going to hit publish it because it's one more step here that is not showing up. Okay. Save and exit. So let me save it and exit it. What happens is I already have a page that I'm using. So let me turn this one off. Let me turn this one on. All I'm doing right now, and let me go back to it so that you can see I was at the settings section. So I'm going to go to the settings and finish it the way that I would be finishing it. Right here, um, I'm going to go ahead and let it cycle into J0. This right here is where you can put your sales page or um, whatever link that you want them to go to. Like after they put their name in, this right here pops them to the next place that you want them to go. So for me, I'm going to put a custom thank you page which then is going to ask for the custom URL. This is where you would be putting your sales page to whatever, you know, program you're in. So for me, it's www.transformwithtracy.info. And then what I would do again is I would save it. Oh, you know why? It says it's invalid, HTTP, that mattered, okay? So I'm going to publish this. Let's see if it'll do it now. Maybe I got to take it all out and put it back in. Control X, Control V, Enter. Oh, that's the URL. Make sure I wrote it right. That's exactly correct. So I'm going to take it out again and start it from scratch. HTTP, WWS, transform with Tracy dot info. And that unless it's a space in there. Uh, boys and girls, I'm not sure why that's not taking it in, but that is definitely the page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to the one that I actually already have done so you can at least see it. Just so you know, what happens is your URL to your sales page goes there, and then what will happen is you will have, um, when they put that name and email address in, it will go to that page. So you all are getting the general gist. So let me show you the one that I actually have done. I'm going to go to landing pages. I'm going to go to Manage, so you can see how it looks when it's all the way done. I'm going to turn this one off. I'm going to turn mine back on. Let me turn this one off first, and let me turn this one back on. Okay, so what happens is now... Do you see here how it has WWS? I'm going to show you from my settings, edit settings. The title of my page is WWS Powerful Income System. It is the powerful income system, generate $100 plus a day on autopilot. I have my custom URL in there, everything. And so then I want you to look at the actual page how it looks. This is how the actual page looks. But see, up at the top, it has the powerful income system. It has this little tab as the description. It has 
all of those little things. And when I put my name and your email address in, it will pop over. Let me show you all what happens. What happens when people come onto your list, Let's search contacts. When a person comes onto your list, what would happen is when they put their name and email in, it would go onto your list and, as you see, add it via the landing page. So that's what's happening is it's happening to helping, helping, excuse me, to keep a person on your list so that you're able to function and operate by sending those people emails. So that right there in a nutshell is how you will do your landing pages. Um, and that's basically it. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me on Facebook um, at Marketing Queen Online. That's M-R-K-T-N-G-Q-U-E-E-N-O-N-L-I-N-E -E 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 on Facebook. Or you can reach me at my regular profile page at Tracy Hemingway. And that's T R A S I E Hemingway, H E M I N G W A Y. Have a great day.